okay, so i want to introduce very quickly what's called the bayes decision rule, and this is something that we're going to come back to later, but whoops let me just talk about it right now because it makes sense in the context of these class conditional probabilities, okay? And so, you know, the way I learned this was this classic example from this uh, pattern recognition textbook by Duda and Hart, right? So the idea was I have two types of fish, tuna and salmon. And each fish has some sort of feature that I measure, right? So let's call that Y. And so this Y could be, for example, the length of the fish, but it could be a joint random variable. It could be like the length of the fish and the color of the fish or something like that, right? But in each case, what I have is a PDF on the feature given each of the fish types, right? So these were basically uh, what we called class conditional probabilities. And actually, in this context, we often call them likelihoods, okay? So um, what I want to do now is flip it around and say, okay, well, now I see why. Tell me, what is the most likely class, okay? So now what I want to do is um, see why, observe why, and now I want to know which type of fish it is, okay? So how would be how would I compute the probability of salmon given y? Well, I would use Bayes' rule. Remember Bayes' rule from a while ago? Basically, this is the probability of y given salmon times the probability of salmon over the probability of um, y, right? And if I'm being really uh, precise about this, let me actually, you know, be clear. This would be like a conditional PDF in Y. This would be the probability of salmon, which was just a number, and this is like the marginal PDF in Y, okay? And, you know, the bottom part, if I wanted to really expand it by the law of total probability, is how can I get Y? There are two ways. Either I could have salmon or tuna, and this I know that the law of total probability tells me that these two things add up to give me the whole thing. So this is the total probability theorem on the bottom. Okay, so let me again define some terminology, right? So um, this guy here is the class conditional probability or sometimes called the likelihood this probability of salmon is called the prior and this number probability of salmon given y is called the posterior. And so this again is something that we talked about in the context of Bayes' rule, is saying that I had a prior probability just from knowing how many fish there are in the sea of the probability of salmon. Now I see this observation, why? How does that update my probability to what's called the posterior probability? Okay, and so this leads to what's called the Bayes' decision rule for making that decision. So the Bayes' decision rule is pretty obvious. It says, um, I decide at salmon if the probability of salmon given y is greater than the probability of tuna given y. And I decide tuna if the reverse is true. And if they're equal, then I flip a coin. Doesn't matter. Okay, this will minimize the overall probability, the average probability that I make a mistake. Okay, what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to minimize the probability of error. Which is what I want to do in this context, okay? 
So let me just kind of uh, write out what this means. So this is like saying that, you know, the decision rule says I choose um, salmon if this is true, right? And if I w look back at, well, what is that actual number, right? That's what this thing is, right? So I can write this out to say, that's like saying um, I have to have y given salmon times probability of salmon or probability of y greater than probability of y given tuna, probability of tuna over probability of y. And then some things cancel out, right? So kind of what I get is, you know, this stuff cancels out. And the decision rule is basically saying um, choose salmon. I like salmon better than tuna anyway. So choose salmon if this thing here is greater than this number. All I'm doing is I'm just rearranging these things to get this, okay? And so now I look at this and I say, okay, well, this kind of makes sense, right? So if the proportions of tuna and salmon are the same, then this is a half and this is a half and this is just equal to one. This is just basically saying, you know, if everything is, you know, equally likely, then choose the class conditional probability that is higher, right? But if, for example, there's a lot more tuna than salmon, then my threshold has to be uh, a lot different for me to make the choice about salmon, right? Because salmon are less likely. So um, this is kind of like the difference between what's called Bayesian estimation and maximum likelihood estimation. So Bayesian estimation is what I do when I have some sort of a good model for these priors. And maximum likelihood estimation is what I do where I say, well, I don't really know what these numbers are, so I'm just going to assume that this right-hand side is equal to one, right? And so this here is called the likelihood ratio. And this is like the introduction to what's called likelihood ratio testing. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this in future lessons. And this is also kind of like the first lecture in what would be any sort of like pattern recognition course. And uh, now we're starting to use all the names of things and all the tools that we've developed so far to start to answer these kinds of questions. And so that's why understanding probability really well is important to then go on to do a good job in pattern recognition and machine learning.